This is the round two game review of all the games that happened over the week of the second week of A4 footy. There were some pretty good games this week, like the Hawthorne Geelong game, but I'll talk about that last. Now I'll start with Adelaide versus Richmond. The the grand final replay. It was pretty close up until halfway through the third quarter where Adelaide just started to get away from Richmond. Now let's talk about Josh Jenkins. He absolutely dominated this game, but he did nothing in the grand final because he came out and said to Paddy Dangerfield that he should have stayed at Adelaide because they would have won a premiership before they even played the game. Now let's talk about North Melbourne versus St Kilda. I won't ramble on too much about this because I already made a video on this, but let's just say that St Kilda went absolutely terrible. Now let's talk about the Carlton versus Gold Coast game. Gold Coast just dominated Carlton, but you would have expected Carlton to win this. And Tom Lynch dominated the game, scoring eight goals. All the key forwards this year just seem to be scoring a bag of goals. Now let's talk about the Collingwood vs GWS game. Collingwood nearly won the game, but if it wasn't for the GWS big stars like Cornelio, Kelly and Cameron, Collingwood might have won it. Canelo came back from injury at the start of the year and started in the first game. And he did it again this week, scoring three goals and he got his team over the line. Now let's talk about the Brisbane versus Melbourne game. I mean, well, what did you expect from this game? Melbourne were dominating. But then Brisbane came back and they nearly won. Jesse Hogan scored another five goals, which as I was saying, all the key forwards are scoring goals this year. Christensen also did really well after coming back from injury in round one. He was a tackling machine this game and hopefully he can keep this form up. Frio versus Essendon, let's talk about it. Now, Essendon, you would have expected them to win after coming out and beating the best team last year, which was Adelaide. Nat Fife and Connor Blakely both starred in this game after having a poor round one. Nat Fife ended up kicking one goal, but he spent a lot of the time in the forward line. And Frio, for the first touch of the game, Aaron Sandy Lance hits it down. Nat Fife gets it out, and then Frio score a goal within the first couple of seconds of the game. It was a beautiful piece of play. Now let's talk about the Bulldogs versus Eagles game. I mean, I reckon Bulldogs are nearly as bad as St Kilda. I mean, they've just shut off since they won the grand final. And Eagles, I reckon they might win the grand final. Or Port Adelaide. Now lots of the young players like Venables and Ryan both scored a lot of goals and Waterman. Now, Liam Ryan, he's the one to watch out for. I'm telling you, he's going to win a Brownlow one day. Or he's going to be the next Cyril Rioli. Now, let's talk about the Sydney vs Power game. As I said before, I reckon Power will win the grand final. Because Sydney are a really strong team. And Power have been putting on a lot of really amazing performances lately. Now let's talk about Buddy Franklin. He's done it again. He's absolutely amazing. He's going to win the Coleman this year. Did you guys see his goal? He snapped it from 50 metres out and it made the distance. It was amazing. Now this game, Geelong vs Hawks. This was the blockbuster game of the week. The Easter Monday game. Geelong, they were making a comeback. Hawks were 20 points ahead at three quarter time. Then Geelong. They seemed like they were going to win it. They had all the momentum. It was equal. About one minute left. Then Jared Rufford takes an amazing mark. He goes back and misses. But that was all that the Hawks needed to bring home the one point win. Thank you for listening 
to Channel AFL's fourth video. I hope you enjoyed the round two game review. And we'll see you next time.